Hey everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel. Thanks for coming to the live chat. I'm so glad that you guys are here. I'm Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist, and I am wired to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. So guys, today, I know you saw the title, okay? And y'all know the song, Rolling in the Deep. Okay, I know I can't sing and I sound crazy, but... Don't come for me, okay? I'm a songwriter. I didn't say I was a singer. <laughs> All right, but anyway, the name of the title is called Rolling in the Deep. Now, this message is not going to be super long, but the Lord dropped it on my heart. And as soon as he dropped it on my heart, I wanted to be obedient. And I wanted to make sure that I was very clear about sharing and making sure that it was... Uh, I, got, I got to what you needed to be. Because what I'm noticing is, y'all, we still at the beginning of the new year. And a lot of times, you know, we don't really understand that with all of the things that God has for us, a lot of times some things are deeply rooted within us and we cannot complete simple tasks or we cannot get small things done that would normally or usually take um, a small amount of time to do or something that doesn't take a whole lot of worry. But we find ourselves, right? We find ourselves overthinking how many of y'all can relate? Drop it in the comments. How many of y'all find yourself overthinking, oversleeping, overpraying, overdoing, over this, over that? And you know, again, I talk about this all the time. Because in Ecclesiastes, it talks about praying without ceasing, right? So sometimes when I say to people, quote unquote, over praying, it's almost like they think that I'm trying to say something that's not biblical, but that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, this is my personal opinion, but again, this is what I love about the word of God. Because you can interpret it the way the Father leads you to understand it so that you can make peace and have what you need so that you can be closer to him. The thing that I need you to understand, though, is this. When it comes down to the basics, I mean, to the, to the true basics of understanding that God wants us all to be in the best possible position. Period. If we oversimplify it, truly, and, and again, this is why it's very clear. There's tribulation, there's troubles, there's ups and downs. You know, literally it said, the Bible says the weapons form, but they will not prosper. So y'all right there is telling you it's going to be some, some shakedowns. It's going to be some things coming in here that you don't have no control over. Because God is already saying from the beginning, hey, huh, let me tell you, huh, when weapons forming, hear me out. If weapons are forming, it's some stuff popping in your life that you, that's not comfortable for you. Because a weapon is against you. A weapon is not for you unless you are the one in a position of power. But sometimes when we're on this road, we are not in a position of power. And we are not in a place where we could truly feel and understand what God is doing because it feels like it's above us. It feels like it's something that's overtaking us. Right? But that's why I said... We're going to call this bad boy rolling in the deep. This is a nice little weekend word for y'all. Rolling in the deep. Let me tell y'all something. The depth and the weight and the scope of how deeply you are loved by the Lord and your creator, your creator, the depth of that, that is really heavy. That is extremely heavy. And I think sometimes if we sat with that and we really understood what that meant for us. And if we really understood that because our creator loves us that much, a lot of the things that's bothering you even right now, it's not even going to bother you. It's not even going to bother you. And I'm literally preaching to myself because at the end of the day, sometimes when you are in the funk and you cannot see your way out, it's nothing that anybody can tell you. You think everything is scam. You think everything is sham because you feel like what you've done it's just, you can't fix it. You can't go back. Everything is so bad. Everything is so awful and this and this and that. So that's why I'm saying, y'all, it is so important for you to really get a hold on, get a real serious hold on that your creator loves you. Again, if you just started following me, 
please make sure you check out my podcast. Yo, I've been doing a podcast since 2017. And on that podcast, I have been talking religiously about who God is and how he will show up for you specifically and individually for you. It's great to be inspired by people. It's great to listen to me. And I thank you. God bless you for it. And your pastors and your ministers and all these people. But please, please have your own relationship with the Lord. Please, your own creator. You need to have your relationship with the creator. And again, I've mentioned this several times and I feel led to say it again. But one time somebody asked me, like, why do you believe in God? I said, well, let me just let me just tell you for me. You know, beyond being raised to believe that and to have a natural inclination because of my gifts and talents and all of the things he's blessed me with that I, I could not have even asked for. Right. Other than all of that. It is extremely humbling when when you realize if somebody tried to take your life right now and they said the only way you can survive is if you say how many hairs you have on your head. I'm out of this mug. I can't answer that if I tried. I can't even guesstimate. I can't. If somebody said, okay, Robin, well, you can't say how much, you know, how many hairs you have in your head. Okay, well, tell me how many, how many cells you have in your body and tell me the exact amount of blood you have flowing through your veins. I can't answer any of those questions. So when somebody asks me if I believe in God, if I believe in a creator, you're absolutely right. Cause I'm literally the only person in me. I'm me. I'm, there's no, I'm only responsible for me and the shell that God has given me, the temple that God has given me. And you mean to tell me there's hundreds of questions, maybe even thousands, that if you ask those questions to me about me, I cannot even answer them. I am in my own body and I cannot even save myself. So this is why for me, it's very simple. It keeps me humble. Because we could talk big talk and we can act like we don't need God. There's so many people. Oh, Lord. I think y'all think it's about, it might be prophesying, y'all. Just hold up now. Listen, there's so many people who God has given you something. I was not expecting this, y'all. This is an interruption. This is a divine interruption. Let's catch it. God has given you something. And you know what you did? You took him out of the equation when it started popping. Well, let me tell you something, honey. The minute you took it out and started, it started popping, it's going to start failing. I can guarantee you that that's not no word curse. That's not me wishing bad, honey. That's a promise because there is nothing that God gives you. There's nothing that God gives you that you can take from him and rule him and say, oh, no, I got you. I got this. It doesn't work like that. Everything can be beautiful. The branding could be beautiful. The, 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 the pictures could be beautiful. The partying could be beautiful. The relationship could be beautiful. The, the business could be popping. The opportunity is going and Growing and all of these things. No, the Lord will put a stop to that. Hear me out. He will put a stop to that. Because God never gives us the ability to do things that are bigger than him. We would not need him. And there's some people that say, well, why would you just keep surrendering yourself to something that's not you? You can get it all done yourself. Honey, work can only go so far. The Bible, the Bible is very clear about God he feels about works. If you get too caught up in your works... And what you did, okay then, God frowns upon that. Because that's basically saying like, that's treating God like he's a magician. That's treating him like a magic trick or like Santa Claus. And saying, okay, well look, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I did this 16 times. When every time I do this 16 times, I get a million dollars. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. That's not how it works. You know, it doesn't work like that. It has to, you have to follow what God is telling you in this process. You have to follow what he is telling you, okay? You have to follow what God is telling you. And let me tell y'all something. When I said rolling in the deep, I wanted to reference a couple of things to y'all that I noticed are some common threads in the Bible when you look up the word deep. See, when you're looking up in Deuteronomy and Genesis, for some reason in the Old Testament, you hear a lot about the depth of God. You hear a lot about like, um, you know, deep. A lot of times in the Bible, y'all, multiple times in the Bible, people go into deep sleep. Okay, deep sleep. So that's the first thing I want to talk about. Y'all know I like to do my, my things in threes. So the first thing I want you to talk about is a deep sleep, a deep sleep. There are some of you who are about to enter a deep sleep 
And upon hearing this, you will understand that you are coming out of a deep sleep. Now, let me tell you what's important about rolling in a deep when it comes to your sleep. The beautiful thing about resting and sleeping is that sleeping is not necessarily indicative of resting because you could sleep and not feel restful when you wake up or well rested. But usually sleep represents a time of silence and quiet where you have surrendered your body to relaxing, not moving and allowing your brain, your mind, your heart, your soul to be in sync and at peace. And then you allow the depth of what God is trying to break down outside of you to happen. Okay, so he might come to you in your dream state. And he might catch you in that space or he might just put you to sleep. And when you wake up, something that you was working on is complete. Somebody else might have came in and finished the job. Okay, so there's a depth right there in the sleep. Check this out. Job 12, 22. I mentioned this the other day. He discovered deep things out of darkness and bring out bring out to the light, the shadow of death. Right. Here's another one. Check this out again. A lot of sleeping, a lot of sleeping and, you know, what lies beneath. Right. Um, let me give you another one on sleep. Okay. Job 33, 15 in a dream in a vision of the night when deep sleep fell upon men and slumberings upon the bed. Again, that's, that's talking about that sleep. That's talking about how, when you put yourself in a space where you can sleep and you really appreciate that sleep is not just for you to close your eyes, but God is doing the work. Y'all He is doing the work. When the sleep is happening, in fact, somebody sent me a video a couple of days ago about sleeping, uh, don't wake somebody up when they sleep or something like that. And I hadn't even looked at it yet, but it reminds me of that. God does a lot of stuff when, when we're sleeping again, y'all know when Adam was sleeping, that's when he made Eve, right? Um, he, the Bible also talks about this. You give visions of the night. When you're in a deep sleep, you're rolling in the deep when it comes to your sleep. So somebody on here listening to me right now, tonight when you go to sleep, God willing, you're going to go to sleep, you're going to wake up, approach your sleep differently tonight. Don't just approach your sleep and make it synonymous with rest. But tonight, I want you to associate your sleep and I want you to associate that with depth. Associate that with, well, tonight, there's going to be a depth. There's going to be a depth that God goes in my life, there's going to be, there's going to be really deep for me tonight. is not just going to be rest and relaxation, but now I'm excited because there's something that God is working on in my life while I sleep. That's going to allow me to bless his people. It's going to allow me to, 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 uh, serve on a higher level. It's going to allow me to really, really begin to see things in a way that I haven't seen before. So you're going to just be reimagining how you view the depth of sleeping. Okay. Just think about it. Think about it. Now, when I talk about rolling in the deep, I love that song. And I just, again, most people know it. That's an Adele song, by the way, if you don't, um, if you don't know it, but (laughs) the thing that I want you to think about number two, okay. Is that when I think of rolling in the deep, let's think about miracle signs and wonders, y'all. Psalms 107.24 says, these are the works of the Lord and his wonders are in the deep. Let me say that again. These are the works of the Lord and his wonders are in the deep. So for number two, for some of you, you are going to begin to understand the depth of the works of the Lord. Now let, let, let's break this down. Cause everybody want to talk about miracles and signs. Let's talk about the works. Let's talk about the, the, the wonders of the Lord that happened in the deep. Let's talk about those things. So let's just think about the times you use the word wonder. Okay. Think about the times you actually say, Oh, I wonder what's going on. Oh, Hmm. I wonder when that's going to do wondering is basically like a, a perplexity. Like you're questioning something like it's a question of sorts. Oh, you know, I wonder this, I wonder that. Now, peep game, I bet you never thought about this. How deep is it to know that when you're wondering about something and God says, oh, you're wondering about that? Let me, let me fix that for you. That question you had, <laughs> I got it. I got it. That, that time you popped up and you're like, wait a minute, these people just told me last week. I didn't owe it. You know, I owed all this money, but today I don't owe this money. Honey, that's a wonder. 
Because see, people are saying, oh, that's a miracle. That's a sign. No, sometimes, y'all, we got to get into the habit of learning what wonders are too. And if you want to, drop it in the chat. If you want me to do a whole video on just the wonders of the Lord, not the miracles, not the signs, not the works of the Lord, but the wonders of the Lord, I will do that for you. I will do a deep dive study on that for you. See, there we go with that word deep again. Meanwhile, y'all, before I finish, I want to make sure you like and subscribe and you share. Take a moment. If you like what I'm talking about so far, please make sure you share it with other people. If you look in the chat, you can check out my journals. I'm dropping a link for that. If you want to do a 10 minute consultation, I'm dropping a link for that. If you want to take up some of my other products and services, my podcast, all of that stuff is in the link in the chat. Y'all, please share it for me. And also, I didn't mention this the last time, but y'all, make sure you go to my community page. I post every single day. I post some type of motivation or inspiration every single day. And uh, one more thing I want to say, too, before I continue. It is very important that you understand that service comes in many forms. And for some of you who you see a lot of people on social media or people that you like and you listen to, and sometimes, you know, a lot of people hit me up about sewing. Y'all, I don't really post like all of that information. I'll really talk about it in my chat, but I, you can definitely go to my description. I put all of those links there for people who want to sew. But th the reason why I'm bringing this up is because sometimes people don't have money. Sometimes they just listen to social media and they're like, man, I want to do something for that person or I, this really affected me. Y'all, you don't understand for somebody like myself, if you just shared it with somebody, because you might share it with somebody who, who do something that it might change their life. So I don't know why. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I just feel like I need to say this to somebody. Sweetie, stop worrying about not having money. Stop feeling like you're inadequate. Oh my God. I just feel you so deeply. I don't know who you are, but stop doing that to yourself. And now you're crying. I don't know who this is, but you're crying now. Stop doing that because people who are really here to serve God, whether we need money or not, they're not really worried about that. <clears throat> Excuse me. The concern is making sure that they do what God is telling them to do. Okay. Like don't, don't be so hard on yourself because you feel like you're listening to people or you want to share and so I don't have enough money to sow and you start thinking about your life and you start feeling bad. Don't go down that rabbit hole. That's the, the enemy wants you to be weird. The enemy wants you to be all uncomfortable in the things of God. Don't do that to yourself, sweetie. It's not, that's not, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Please don't do that because that's not for you. And I'm, I'm talking about in general, but specifically, if you listen to me, that certainly is not for me and you. I don't even get down like that. You take all you can take. I'm dropping free books this coming week. I'm dropping all type of stuff. And if you want to send me an email personally, go ahead and email me now. Info at unwiredtoinspire.com. If you feel like you feel some type of weird burden because you can't help people or you can't sew, sewing is not just money. Sometimes it's time and sharing and letting people know that's something you enjoy, they might enjoy too. Total tangent, y'all. I'm sorry, but you know how it is. I got to be obe obedient. Again, <clears throat> make sure you hit all the links. Now, let's get back to the third. The third part of rolling in the deep. Okay? The first one was a deep sleep. Right? Remember the first one was a deep sleep. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. The second one was about the wonders, the depth of the wonders of God. When the Lord literally does things and we're like oh my god i wonder i wonder how he did that and he's like oh i got it isn't that incredible and in fact before i do number three i feel led to share a, a story and i'm not going to say their name but um i'll let them know that i'm putting this on the video but i know somebody one time who um they they had fixed their credit this was some years ago this is quite a few years ago right they had fixed their credit and, um, they were like, okay, they, you know how, you know how, like when you're trying to rebuild your credit, you get another card, you try to get another credit card and you're like, okay, well, I want to get one because, you know, we can start building the credit back up. Right. So check this out. When they looked at their credit, it said that they qualified for one for $250. So they was like, okay, bet. Again, that's when you really starting back up from the bottom. So it's like, you know what? I'll figure it out. I'll go ahead and start back with this $250 one. So basically they went in and did it on, they did a call. I think it was something like that. And I might be telling it a little out of order, but you're going to get the gist of what I'm saying, because this is talking about rolling in the deep when it comes to the wonders of God. Cause I'm about to tell y'all about a full blown wonder Now, don't get me wrong. It's still a miracle too, but this is a wonder. Cause to this day we are like, I wonder what happened. 
I wonder, I wonder what happened. Okay. And this is a beautiful story. And, and again, I believe that this is going to encourage somebody and be a game changer for somebody. Watch this. So they ended up getting, they ended up, you know, uh, contacting the people like, Hey, look, I just wanted to double check and see if you all got my request for the card. Right. And they were like, yeah. So, um, they said, okay, we just wanted to know, you know, I just wanted to know if I was approved or not. And the girl on the phone said, um, well, yeah, she said, yeah, you were approved. And she said, yeah, you were approved for $25,000. <laughs> she said, wait, what? <laughs> I think it was 25. If you, if you listen to this, my friend, you know what I'm getting at, but I, I'm sure, I'm pretty sure it was $25,000. It wasn't, was it 30,000? No, it was 25,000, I think. Either way, the number don't matter, but just hear me out. So this whole time when they were approaching the situation, she was just trying to get $250. She just was trying to get $250 because she knew that's what she could qualify for because her credit was bad. So the girl said, she said, wait a minute. She said, oh no, cool as a cucumber. She said, oh no, ma'am, I'm sorry. She said, that wasn't mine. She said, I don't qualify for that much or something like that. She said, double check it again. And so the lady said, okay. So she checked it. She said, no, I just checked it again. She said, it's $25,000. And she said, no, no, no. She's like, no, that can't be. She said, that's impossible. It can't be, right? And so the lady checked again. She said, no, like I checked. She called back her number, all her information, social name, address, date, time, birthday, all of that. The girl said, yeah, this is it's $25,000. So then she went to ask her one more time. And the lady said, okay, listen, you have $25,000, period. And that's it. It's now $250. Like, don't ask me this again. <laughs> Yo, that is a wonder. And you want to know something? She absolutely had $25,000. Yes, she did. <laughs> yes, she did. That was not a glitch. That was not a sign. Yes, it was a miracle. But more than it was a miracle, y'all, it was a wonder. It was a wonder. And it was a deep one. Because you, let me tell y'all something. God knew, Lord, I'm getting chills on this. Somebody need to be shouting right now in this chat. God knew. You hear me out. God knew. God knew they were going to need that money. She knew what was going on. God knew what was going on in, in her life. God knew what she didn't know. And he made sure that there were things that happened. And God made it so that this person can hold their head up high. And they knew everything that they had was because God did it for her. And took care of her. And he move the numbers numbers, and move the needle to her benefit and for his glory. Because let me tell you something about that person. That's why I could give this testimony because their entire life is a testimony. And they're always blessing people. You better believe. You better believe off that. Uh, Y'all tell me how much was that, that jump? $250 to $25,000. Somebody give me the math on that. Just put the, put the math in there. Because right now I'm all bucked up. The math ain't math in my head. So put it in the chat for me. But look at the exponential jump of how much God blessed what she thought. How many of y'all are sitting here thinking one thing, but God trying to go deep? He trying to knock you out with a wonder that's just not even something you're thinking about. How many of you? How many of you? Think about it. Genuinely think about it. Genuinely think about it. Now. I'm wrapping up, y'all. This is my last one. This is my last one. Again, if you want somebody to catch this before I finish, send it right now. Like, subscribe, and share. Check this out. So this one, the depth, rolling in the deep right now. I want some of y'all to guess in the comments and see what I'm about to say. Because there's one other thing that we hear about that's deep. And I'm, you know, we, we talked about wonders. Basically, that's like thoughts and thinking. You know, <clears throat> and we talked about sleeping. We go into a deep sleep. But what else is deep? What else is deep? Y'all put in the comments for me. Let me see what y'all putting in here. <laughs> so check it. Water. Water. Deep water. Let's think about that for a minute. One of the things that I think that God is so brilliant with when he is, he's breaking things down for us and he's basically just getting us together on our mindsets and how we view things is like he always has, he just always has it figured out for us. Lord have mercy. Check this out, y'all. We love to see it. We love to see it. Watch this. We rolling in the deep. We going to ride out with this thing on water. Isaiah 43, 2, it says, when you go through deep waters, I will be with you. 
when you go through rivers of difficulty, you will not drown. When you walk through the fire of oppression, you will not be burned up. The flames will not consume you. <laughs> Hear me out. Let's do this again. When you go through deep waters, I will be with you. When you go through rivers of difficulty, you will not drown. When you walk through the fire of oppression, you will not be burned up and the flames will not consume you. Y'all listen to me. That's Isaiah 43 and 2. For some of you right now, you are in the deep waters. And let me tell you why it's waters and it's not wonders and it's not sleep. Because baby, when you're in a deep water, you feel like you're drowning. And you want to know when you start uh, drowning? You start fighting for your life. And that's the equivalent to me saying some of you are in survival mode right now. Trust me, been there, done that, bought the season, bought, bought the t-shirt in and out of season. I'm overstanding that one, okay? Some of you are in the deep waters. Some of you are feeling like you're drowning with your work projects. Some of you feel like you are suffocating. Some of you feel like, Lord, I can't catch my breath. The water's trying to take me out and it's trying to mess me up. But you want to know why when you go through the deep waters, he's going to be there because the deep waters are not there to drown you. The deep waters are there to bless you and to cleanse you and to purify you. And some of you can't get to the purification because you're too busy worrying about drowning. But if you're rolling in the deep with the law like he wants you, want you to, if you don't fight your sleep and you sleep in it, if you go ahead and allow him to answer those wonders and make those wonders happen in your life, if you allow him to let the water cleanse you, if you allow him to let you see that water in a way where you can walk on it. Uh oh, where my water walk is at? Whole other video, huh? Ha! Listen. When you go through deep waters, I will be with you. If you're going to be rolling in the deep in 2022, you're going to have to do some divine reset, some of you. You're going to have to approach your sleep differently. You are going to have to approach your ability to edit your mind from $250 thinking to $25,000 thinking. That is going to be the thing that sets you apart. And that is going to be the thing to game change and change your life. I want you to hear me out and I want you to understand me, y'all. 2022 is going to be exactly what you make it to be. But guess what? It's not going to be anything more, or anything less. God is already laying it out for you. And he's like, hey, it's D-E-E-P. It is deep. It is deep. I gave you the three things and you know I love me a good acronym. So let me give you the acronym the Holy Spirit me, Spirit is giving to me right now off the dome. This is not written. This is just while we're talking. The D in deep is done. Whoo! It is done. That literally just answers somebody prophetically right now. You keep asking God, what is it going to be? With it? It's done already. This is why it's so deep. You want to know why it's so deep? Because it's done. And you're trying to figure out, well, how did it get done? Well, it don't matter how it got done. If it's done, it's done, right? It's done already. God don't want you wasting your time and twiddling your thumbs trying to figure out how to fix it. He keeps telling you before it even starts. It's done, daughter. It's done, son. It is done. You want to know what that first E and deep is? It's excellent. It's already dope. It's already high level. It's already excellent. Already. Literally, you have nothing to do with it, but you can only find it in the deep. When we deal with stuff that's not shallow, we got to stop dealing with shallow people, shallow relationships, people that's been around a thousand years that don't have no business being there. People you keep knocking out the box because you want to stay with that comfort and with that shallow, silly mess. You keep trying to have a, you keep trying to get this person to give you an opportunity and they not, they've already committed to not wanting to give it to you. You keep looking at this situation because you're like, oh, well, you know, it just came up off the top and it'll just be easy to do. No, that's shallow, that's simple. We're not talking about simple things we're not talking about simple relationships we're not we're not talking about simpletons who try to come in sin from the enemy and try to reduce who god says that you are we're not talking about any of that y'all we're talking about the depth about the deep so guess what it's already a done deal the second is already excellent but you want to know what that third e is he's trying to elevate it is elevation time baby we elevating around here we going to the next level you hear me we are going to the next level we're going to the next level. He is elevating you. There, if, if you have anything in your mind that's keeping you right there and just chilling and you're like, oh, everything's cool. I'm going to ride this little space out. Well, then you out of order. You're not in position. You're going to miss it. 
I'm telling you right now, you're going to miss it. If there's anything in your flesh that's making you think something is on that simple level, you're going to miss it. I'm just telling you one more time, you're going to miss it. Okay? So, with that being said, this last letter of deep, done, excellent, elevation, the P is peculiar. In this season... People going to think you a little off. I'm just telling you. You're peculiar people. Right? I know some of you have heard that before. If you have not, that's actually, <clears throat> that's actually biblical. A peculiar people, that is biblical. And I'm going to tell you, it's interesting because if you don't quite, if you don't quite understand what that means, you're going to take it, you're going to take it the wrong, you're going to take it the wrong way. Okay? So in the Bible, when uh the in when, when uh uh brain fart there we go my bad in exodus when the lord is talking about a peculiar people it's talking about being special a particular treasure right so the lord says that if you obey my voice right and you keep my covenant then you shall be a peculiar treasure of unto excuse me uh, excuse me of now, y'all, why I keep jacking up this word? Let me say this one more time. If you will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then you shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people. That's Exodus 19, 5. Peculiar. You are peculiar. So the deep, when we rolling in the deep in this season, in this hour in 22, it's a done deal. You, you can you can stop with all of the overexerting yourself. It's done. It's done. It's done. Relax. Allow yourself to be in the comfort of the Lord and be fine with how things are going. Number two is excellent. It's so dope. It's already on point, y'all. It's already on point. And elevate. Once God knows that you've accepted that he's in control by accepting that it's done, once you've accepted that it's going to be way better than anything you could have done because it's excellent, he's like, okay, boom, now let me elevate you. It's time for me to take you to the next level. Because you've already, you, you got the first two out the gate. You've already surrendered to me. Because those two things are about surrendering. So you've surrendered. And now it's, now that you're elevated, now let me show you how you are now with peculiar people. Let me show you how you are absolutely a very special, particular treasure to me. You are a treasure to me, child. You are a treasure to me, daughter. You are a treasure to me, son. You are a treasure. This is the posture you need to be in. This is how you're going to be rolling in the deep. So I pray that you all got something out of this. Please just, you know, put some information in the comments, any questions you have again, Here's my email address. You can check that out right now as well. Definitely like and subscribe and share. Make sure you go to all of my offerings. Check everything out. Check the uh, info in the description box under this video. And y'all, send me some topics. I'm open to it. Now, this one was long, y'all. We was on this month for like 32 minutes. Whoa. Um, but again, all good. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope it blessed you. And again, I'm going to talk to y'all soon. But I love y'all. And I really appreciate y'all. Um, just y'all being here, you don't know you pulling me out of a funk. I'm not always on y'all. I ain't been on for a minute. I ain't even gonna lie to you, but just knowing that I have to get on here and do this, this is saving my life too. <laughs> so I love y'all and I thank y'all. I'm wired to inspire. I hope you are too.